Hello all, Mike Logan as Mike the Counselor too. In Rockford where it is uh, spring. Chilly and springy and the bulbs are beginning to break through the ground. Uh, my crocus are coming up. And I've been writing on my Ask Mike the Counselor 2 website some pages about emotional intelligence. Um, as far as the marketers are concerned, it's a done deal. The researchers are struggling a little bit with what emotional intelligence really is. Uh, three working definitions, but nothing real clear yet. Um, and that makes it sort of hard for to quantify and to clarify um, what emotional intelligence really is. However, I've been using Daniel Goleman's work on emotional intelligence in my domestic violence and anger management programs, those educational programs, for uh, a long time, ever since I came across it. And, uh, I've used uh, Goleman's concept of the amygdala hijack, particularly in uh, anger management classes, to indicate to people, you know, the hardwiring and physiology that's involved in uh, emotions uh, like anger, strong, powerful emotions, how fast they happen, 18th of a second, and I go from, hi, how are you, to, you know, I've got to beat you up. The inside your body changes really fast based on your perceptions. Okay, so I use that a lot and uh, back it up with some documentation and I think it makes a, a difference to anger management folks to understand something about the hardwiring and the hormonal and the neurotransmitter aspects of anger and you need to do your anger management in a very short period of time. It takes me one-tenth of a second to blink my eyes, okay? One-eighteenth of a second to prepare for fight or flight or freeze chemistry. Okay, so that's a very useful tool for me in terms of uh, improving emotional intelligence. However, that's perhaps the one thing that I don't think anybody who is doing anything around emotional intelligence teaches, and I think it's crucial and critical that it be taught, that the central nervous system is constantly perceiving data, and the amygdala in particular is involved, and. Uh, in comparing data streams, auditory, visual, uh, tactile, gustatory, olfactory, with uh, memories of past smells and tastes and sensations, and visions and sounds. And it is looking for a close match to, not even a close match, I'm sorry, just a similarity between the data stream that's currently rolling past it and uh, a memory that it has in chemically encoded from the past. And if there is a match, uh, I have an amygdala hijack very, very rapidly. I change internally and prepare for war, to freeze, run for my life, or fight for my life faster than my prefrontal cortex can create words to describe it. Not a lot faster, but enough so that I might be moving in the environment before I can say, you know, that's your boss, you know, when he hits your boss. And emotional intelligence programs and programs and improving emotional intelligence don't emphasize how fast the inside of me moves. Now, another thing that I don't think emotional intelligence programs do well enough is to teach how we respond emotionally, subconsciously, to facial expressions. Paul Ekman's work, uh, he's been doing work on categorizing facial expressions uh, across cultures for a long time, I think 25 years. And there are some expressions that uh, people recognize across cultures and would change inside in response to. In particularly, if I look at somebody with an expression of contempt, you know, the eye rolling and the, this side of my mouth curls up, and my children do this so perfectly, and I do it too. You know, when my wife says something for the third time have an expression of contempt and disgust before I even have any words in my head. And if she happens to be looking at my face, she's going to respond with some arousal, some outrage. Uh, and it's going to be really, really quick. So we have, in an eighteenth of a second, based on nonverbal communication, facial expressions, the potential for a knockdown, drag out fight. And I think emotional intelligence programs need to talk about the speed that the central nervous system operates, and how we respond to dis 
expressions of contempt and disgust. And I'll talk more about that next time we meet. Thank you very much. Ask Mike Counselor2.com, Mike Logan.